The funeral for an unarmed black man shot and killed by a white female police officer in Oklahoma will be Saturday. Terrence Crutcher died Friday after police responded to a report of a stalled vehicle. Protesters now want Officer Betty Shelby to be fired and arrested. The state's governor called video of the shooting troubling. Manuel Bohorkas is outside the Tulsa County District Courthouse with new developments on this. Manuel, good morning. Good morning. Attorneys for Terrence Crutcher's family said he did not pose an imminent threat to officers when he was shot. They are disputing the allegation that he tried to reach inside his vehicle and hammered home the point that no weapon was found inside that stalled SUV. All right, Betty Joe, where are you at? Terrence Crutcher's sport utility vehicle was idling in the middle of a Tulsa road Friday night. He's got his hands up there for her now. His hands were up and he was walking. This guy's still walking. Tulsa police said Crutcher failed to obey officers' commands and tried to reach inside his vehicle. The 40-year-old father of four was tased by one officer, then shot by another. Shot fired! This is clearly a case of excessive force. In an attempt to refute the police department's reason for deadly force, attorney Benjamin Crump says enlarged still images show the driver's side window was up. How could he be reaching into the car if the window is up and there is blood on the glass? According to KOTV, Tulsa's CBS affiliate, a police sergeant said officers found a vial of the hallucinogenic drug PCP inside Crutcher's vehicle, along with his wallet and school books. Scott Wood, who is representing Officer Betty Shelby, said Monday she pulled the trigger in fear for her life. It went from, hey man, is this your car, all the way up to literally screaming at him to stop what he was doing. While the Department of Justice has opened a civil rights investigation over allegations of excessive force, Officer Shelby is on paid administrative leave. Fire! Fire! Protesters at police headquarters said the policing was alarming. My soul hurts. My soul hurts. That's why I'm here. Justice. It's not right. We saw the tape. Everyone saw the tape. None of the police officers wore body cameras that day. The Tulsa Police Department did receive nearly $600,000 in federal grants earmarked for body cameras last year, but the department still doesn't have them. Nora? All right, Manuel, thank you.